Hey boosters, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Liquid Crystal. Um, last time we left off at this Pokemon Center in um, Violet City, and we're gonna be continuing through this city right here. So let's head into this house, see what's up here. A Pokemon you get in trade grows quickly, but if you don't have the right gym badge, they may disobey you. <clears throat> I'm looking for the Pokemon Bell Sprout. Want to trade one for Onyx? Nope. Um, for this series, I don't aim on, I don't plan on using any traded Pokemon, so that's not gonna be a thing. <clears throat> okay, I guess this is just a school. We don't want to listen to that. Let's head over. So this is the gym. Oh, exclamation mark. Okay. I'm near it says, who are you? Get out of my way. Okay. Let's see if we can get in the gym. Yep, we can. Okay, so. I think we're gonna challenge this gym first. Okay, grass type is weak against flying type. Okay, so I'm guessing this is a flying gym then. So, we will need something to counter um, a flying gym. So, let's try to find something in the wild because I don't think blue can take this whole gym on its own. <clears throat> So let's head up to this route here and see what Pokemon we can get. Route 36 here. Yep, let's just run in this patch of grass and see what this route has to encounter. So it is, okay, a Pidgey. <clears throat> I'm not sure if we want to include a Pidgey in our team though. <clears throat> Another Pidgey. Is there another Pokemon we can get here or no? Hoot hoot. Nope. And keep in mind, like, after we catch the Pokemon, we also, we also need to level them up. So that's gonna be a little bit of a trouble, but I should I think it should be fine if we just use switch training. So it's keeping it keeps giving me a Pidgey. So I don't know if that's gonna give us anything else. <clears throat> no, it doesn't look like it's gonna give us anything else though. It's just a Pidgey. Um, okay, Pidgey again. So it seems like it's just gonna have Pidgeys here. So that might not be the best solution here. Um, any other ways we can get, places we can get to? <clears throat> I really want to find a new member for our team this episode because three episodes in, it still can't, we still need um, a Pokemon for our team. Maybe this route, Route 32, can have some Pokemon we need. It doesn't look like it. Well, let's get this, um, berry tree. Cherry berries. I guess let's just challenge this gym then. Is he on max PP? Yep, he is. So let's just go on and challenge this gym. Let me see if you're good enough to challenge Faulkner. 
Okay, so Faulkner is the gym leader. Let's use water gun here. Because I think Spiro has bad special defense. Really? Hit four times. Okay, that's not great. Let's use it again. Peck. Water gun. Leer. That should be fine. Okay, we defeated the Spiro. Is that it? Oh, so only two trainers for Faulkner. Guts. Guts is an ability, so I think that's what he means. Okay, Bert Keeper Allen sent Spiro out. Let's use Scratch this time. Okay, Growl lowered our attack down. Yeah, let's keep using Water Gun because we don't want our um, attack to be lowered there. Growl doesn't affect us because Water Gun is special. Okay, so we're gonna get some experience there. Nice, we're level 16 now. Okay, so I think let's just heal up first. I guess. Nope, wrong side. So let's just get this Pokemon Center, let's heal up. So as I said before, the main goal of this episode is to find a new um, team member. So let's go up here, go back in the gym and challenge Faulkner. And let's get our first badge here. I'm Faulkner, the Violet Pokemon Gym Leader. People say that you can clip flying type Pokemon's wing was wings with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insults to Bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of the magnificent Bird Pokemon. Yeah, we don't have an electric type, so this is gonna be quite a challenge here. Send out Pidgey. <clears throat> Okay, let's use Scratch here. Ooh, Mud Slap. That can lower our accuracy. Yep. Not the best. Water Gun. Let's use Water Gun. Come on. Good damage. Nice. Really? A potion? No. Don't use potions against me. Tackle. Okay, water gun. Hopefully it knocks him out. No. Okay, at least we knock it out this turn. Who's he gonna send out next? Pidgeotto, okay. So we're a level under Pidgeotto. Water gun. Ah, uh, this is gonna knock us out the next turn. I don't think I have potions. Oh, I do. Luckily, I do. Okay. Use tackle. That's fine. We can last one more. Come on. Oh, mud slap. Please don't miss this. If we miss this, we could lose. No, really? This is risky. Come on, just don't miss this one. 
No. That's bad right there. No. I think we got knocked out, guys. Okay, we lost against Faulkner. We paid some money. Okay, we're gonna be straight to a Pokemon Center. Yep. So we need to get some potions from the Pokemart because seems like we're struggling quite a bit against Faulkner as we don't have a second team member. Let's buy a, a few potions here. Um, let's get 15 potions. And then how many Pokeballs do we have? Let's get five Pokeballs. Okay, so that should do it. We should be able to challenge Faulkner with ease now. Since we have the potions here, we're just gonna skip the text because we already um, read it out. Okay, so first is gonna be a Pidgey and then a Pidgeotto. So with the Pidgey, I say we should just go for the water gun. Oh, mud slap's gonna be an issue though. The accuracy drop. Nice, okay. Nice. Good damage there. He's gonna use a potion just once. Just don't miss this. Nice. And one more should do it. Uh-oh, Mud Slap can lower our accuracy further. We may miss this one, just hope not. Oh, and we do miss it. Okay. Let's just use Water Gun again and hope that it doesn't miss. Oh, it misses again. Water Gun, come on. Nice. Okay, we knocked out the Pidgey. Now we just need to knock the Pidgeotto out. Nice. Level 17 already. Pidgeotto. Hmm. Let's see our moves here. So... We can use Leer, I mean Rage, which, let's try out Rage, actually, with, um, against this Pidgeotto. Oh, Mud Slap, really? That's surely gonna make us miss this one. Yep, we did miss. Nice, we pulled it off. Ooh, I say let's use a potion here. Tackle. One more potion. Okay, now does the rage keep building? Okay. Come on, let's keep using rage. Ah, oh, we missed. Okay, at this point, let's use water gun. Really? Okay, let's potion on blue. Gust. One more potion. 
Let's try to heal blue up. Oh, another mud slap. That's gonna lower our accuracy even further. Let's just hope it lands. Another one. Oh, we're gonna miss this, surely. Yep. Now this is gonna be hard to <clears throat> um, pull off because our accuracy is so bad. Yeah, it's it got lowered by five stages, so that's really bad there. Uh, yes, we finally landed one. And then we can use Rage. Gus shouldn't knock us out here. Yep. Ah, oh, our attack missed. Come on, potion on blue. This, this gym has been so hard right now. Okay, blue's up now. Water gun, come on, we need to land this. Ah, oh, if we land this, then I think we actually knock it out. Critical hit, really. This is so tough here, not having a second Pokemon. Okay, let's hope this works, please. Let's go, it pulls off, knockout. Yes, finally, we beat this gym. A thousand experience, level 18 now. Almost level 19. We defeated Faulkner. Darn, my dad's cherished bird Pokemon. Alright, take this. It's the official Pokemon League Zephyr badge. Boo Boo got 1,000 Poke Dollars. Okay. Oh, Blue's evolving! No way! No way! No! No, there is no way. What does Blue become? He is... Whoa, that looks so cool. Congratulations, your blue evolved into a Croconaw. No, that's so cool. Boo Boo received the Zephyr badge. Okay, we're gonna check out the stats later. Zephyr badge r raises attack stats. It also enables Pokemon to use Flash if they have it any time. Here, take this too. TM31, what is that? Gust? Is it Gust? By using a TM, a Pokemon will instantly learn a new move. Think before you act, a TM can only be used once. TM31 contains Mud Slap, okay. It reduces the en enemy's accuracy while it causes damage. In other words, it's both defensive and offensive. So that's really nice. No, I still can't believe that um, blue has evolved. So it's now a Crocona. Oh, and those stats are superb right there. 39 attack, 38 defense, 34 special attack, 30 special defense, 27 speed. That's a really nice... um. Stat, stat, what, what do you call? Um, those are really nice stats right there. Call from Professor Elm. Hello, Boo Boo. We discovered something about the egg. My assistant is at the Pokemon Center in Violet City. Can you talk to him? Click. Okay, so we were about to head to the Pokemon Center to heal, and looks like. Um, there's gonna be an assistant there. So let's heal up first. Um. Okay, we hope to see you again. Okay, this is the assistant. Boo Boo, not long time no see. Professor Elm asked me to find you. He has another favor to ask. Would you take the Pokemon egg? Yep, I surely will. Boo Boo received an egg. We discovered that 
A Pokemon will not hatch until it grows in the egg. It also has to be with another, with other active Pokemon to hatch. Boo Boo, you're the only person we can rely on. Please return to the lab when that egg hatches. Okay. So we have a Pokemon egg that will hatch right here. Um. Okay. So I really wonder what that egg is going to hatch to. Well, I think that is going to be it for this episode right here. Um, the things that we accomplished this episode include um, battling the gym and defeating Faulkner after we struggled for a few times. Um, and we really need to find a new um, team member for our Pokemon team right here. And another thing is that Blue did evolve into a Croconaw, which is so nice. And his stats has gone up so much. So, yep, I think, so I think that's gonna be it for this episode. Make sure you guys stay tuned for new episodes, and we're signing out.